Hello and welcome to Unboxing Therapy with Dimitri. Today we are going to be unboxing a Capra Axle Racing Capra Remote Control Plus some other accessories to go with it. So, first of all, this here is a new type of uh, trail rock crawler remote control. So it's kind of like a, uh, a crossover where it goes into one area, but also goes up another area. So, let us begin. So this looks like the the uh, the body, the raw cage. Looks like the sides. Well, it's, that comes mostly assembled. So as you've gathered, this is the type of uh, kit that comes in many many pieces. So in here, probably a little bit hard to see with the lights, like bumpers or there's like some plastic men in there, a fuel cell, there's some lights, some more of the parts to go externally over the vehicle. So the bags look appropriately labelled. Uh, this one here will be the body. So I was uh, wondering how exactly the body would be packaged, whether I'd need to cut it out. But it looks like it's already pre-cut out, so painting is required. I don't have much paint. This, the visuals are not anything exciting, but this is a diff. So one of the features is, so it has these things called portal axles, which uh, are not commonly found on many vehicles, unless of course you own a, a Unimog, if you know what that is. So that would be one of the axles. There's a little bit of weight in there. F1. This must be the performance part. I don't see where the performance is. That'll be like drive shafts or something like that. Oh, my favorite part of the build. Shock absorbers. Now, I've done a lot of shock absorbers in the past, but the shocks have been pretty good. Now, I'm not sure what these are like, but Oh, it comes with some shock oil, unless that's something. Um, a bit worried about the, the bleed screw. Uh, looks 
looks like. The front axle with some grease and thread lock. I do where the steering will be. And it comes with wheels. Plastic wheels. I'm sure we can make those work. Oh, the heaviest bag of them all. So this would be the Lynx. For the suspension. Lots of little bits in there. A servo insert. Interesting. There it is. So I'm really hoping I have everything required. Alright, gearbox. Metal gears. Has a pinion gear. That's something I was worried about. And, of course, how could we assemble something so vast, so daunting to most people? Instructions, which you should download the updated versions immediately. There was a few small little errors in there that they have been so kind to fix up. So that box unboxes quite quickly. But oh, Of course we have some generously supplied packing material to help cushion these parts. Hyrax 1.9 Predator Super Soft Rock Terrain Tires Front or Rear Spectrum Micro Metal Gear Servo. So this goes for the car. It's like a special part that you have to buy. I bought a few things connectors. I think I should have got some cable too. So they're just for battery connections. Uh, I was running low. Savox, 
server. It's an SW1211SG waterproof server. So I've run Sevox servos in all of my um, other remote control cars, which were mostly one tenth scale buggy and short course trucks. Um, obviously, not needing waterproof. Um, not really sure why I got waterproof with this one, but it seems that everyone gets waterproof ones for these vehicles. So I got that one. And the piece of the resistance is the engine. So this is a Tekken Rock 412 element proof, which I believe is waterproof. Um, crawl motor. So this vehicle doesn't do the bigger motor. This is a, they have to do the 540 size. So I'm still learning about these motors. So I've got the old uh, buggy type motors. Um, and on Tekken's website, they say that the RSX speed controller, which I've used and I have one, um, I have two actually, um, will work as a rock crawler. So I'm going to use that. I have some old receivers, so I only need uh, three channels. Speed controller, servo, and this thing. Um, so now I get to put it all together. So <coughs> I got a 31,000 model motor. Try and have a little bit more speed <coughs> with the vehicle. Um, I also have a uh, Bronco TRX4. So now I have two. So now when I'm uh, controlling the stick controller, um, we can both drive at the same time because sharing just one vehicle can be a little bit uh, 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 frustrating. So I was thinking, what do I get? And then all of a sudden, an axial new remote control car come out and new ones don't come out very often so I thought let's check it out so once I have it built and running I will let you know thank you